Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Nabava Linux to your PC. So, to start off with, Nabava Linux is like Fedora Linux but on steroids, so it's not actually affiliated with uh, Fedora, so it's not a, a respin or anything like that. It's actually taken the Fedora um, code and it's added different features on top. Um, so it's a bit to like Linux Mint in that sense. So Linux Mint's taken Ubuntu and add stuff on top. So I'm going to show you how to do this using uh, Windows, uh, how to create a USB drive, and I'm going to show you how to create a USB drive using Linux as well. And then I'll show you how to install um, Nobara using the USB drive created. So the setup is similar both ways. So in Windows, open your web browser, and we're going to search for Nobara. Linux and you can go straight to the download page for this. So if you want to go straight to the uh, uh, address it's uh, https uh, nobava project.org forward slash download hyphen nobava. So nobava uh, recommends that you download um, nobava to your PC and then use Balina Etcher to create the USB drive, which is great because it's the way I was going to show you anyway. Uh, there are three versions available here. Uh, you've got Nabara Official Release, uh, you've got uh, uh, Nabara 38 uh, GNOME, and you've got uh, Nabara 38 KDE. Uh, there's also one for NVIDIA drivers. And it says that only the latest NVIDIA drivers are supported. So if you've got NVIDIA hardware, you want to download the official NVIDIA one. Uh, for Steam Deck, you can d download there. And then you've got previous releases. So we're going to be... So I haven't got an NVIDIA card, so I'm going to download this one. Uh, but if you do have NVIDIA card, then you'll want to download uh, this one. Uh, I'm going for the official release. So basically click the download and click I agree. And you see that it starts downloading in the top right corner. Now what we want to do is go to etcher.io and you want to click on the download etcher and then you want to download etcher for Windows and again you'll see that download in the top corner. When the Nabara ISO and Bellina Etcher have finished downloading and close the web browser and open up uh, Windows Explorer. You can either click this icon here or you can press the Windows and E key at the same time. Uh, if you go to the downloads folder you'll see there's Bellina Etcher which we've downloaded and your Nabara that's been downloaded. So uh, double click on the Bellina Etcher you will need to insert your USB drive at this point. Uh, make sure there's nothing on it you want to keep because it will be overwritten uh, with uh, Nabara. So anything on that drive will be completely wiped. Okay, uh, the setup window will appear. You can close the Explorer now. Uh, click I agree. Belina Etcher should start automatically, but if it doesn't, you can double click on this icon here. Uh, so what you want to do first, click flash from file and you choose the Nabara that you downloaded previously you select your target which is your USB drive make sure that the size is roughly the size of your USB drive and uh, the name's kind of valid as well uh, click select and then all you have to do is click flash and it will start it will ask you whether you are sure click yes and it will start flashing to the drive uh, now it's got an estimated uh, time there you it might take a bit longer or a bit less uh, but you can go away and come back when it's finished and when it's finished it will say flash completed at this point you can skip ahead in the video if you're using Windows because I'm now going to show you the same um, thing how to create the USB drive using Linux so you can skip forward to the bit where we actually start the installation. So here we are on my Linux machine this is running uh, Zubuntu at this moment in time 
But should you have a Linux you are using, open a web browser in the way you normally would. Uh, go to the Nabara download page. Uh, again, the same thing applies. If you use an NVIDIA, you need to download this. If not, you need to download this. Uh, if you want GNOME or KDE, go for these. Uh, but I'm just going to go for the official and click download. Click I agree. And then again, Etcher, you just go to etcher.io. Click on download. Uh, but this time you want to click on this Etcher for Linux x64 app image here. Click download. And that will start downloading. So once they are downloaded, first thing you want to do is open up a file explorer. You go to the downloads folder, and you'll see the Nabar is downloaded. Um, you see, I downloaded it yesterday, and Etch is downloaded. Now you can't run this directly. You, uh, first off, you need to change the security set setting. So uh, if you're using a file explorer like this, you can generally right click, go to properties. Go to the permissions tab and then click allow this program to this allow this file to run as a program. Alternatively, you can open a terminal. Uh, you can navigate to your downloads folder. Uh, so for ls, uh, what we can do is change mod plus x Alina Etcher. like that. It's dot app image, and then that will um, now have the required permissions. And uh, what you need to do now is just double click on it, and it's the same scenario as before. Again, make sure you've got your USB drive inserted. Uh, make sure it's not got anything that you want to keep because it will be overwritten. Click from flash from file, choose Nabara, select your target, which is the USB drive, and then click flash. Ask your password, and you see this is how long it's going to take to um, flash to that USB drive. Uh, there's also a verification step afterwards, so it's a little bit longer than the time it says there. Uh, I'd allow in this case for probably about 15 minutes or so. So you can see now that the um, main installation is complete, it's doing the validation step, and it's going to, it says it's about two minutes left of this. And now you can see it says flash completed, you can flash another device if you want to. Um, but now we can start on the main installation. When the computer boots up, you need to press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. In my case, it's F7. Uh, to find your one, uh, go onto Google and search for your manufacturer and ask what the boot key is. And when you see this menu appear, pick the USB drive that you put Nabara onto. And then you can go for the start Nabara option. I had to press the up arrow. You can see it's put an asterisk next to it and then click return. So when you boot into Nabara, um, you can click on the install system. This might pop up automatically, so you might not have to, but um, if it doesn't, uh, click on this install system and this screen will pop up. Uh, choose your installation language. Then click next. Uh, it's automatically chosen where I am in the world, but if you, it hasn't done it for you, you can either choose a region or zone or you can click on the map. Uh, you can change the system language. Uh, so in my case, it's going to be British United Kingdom and the dates are going to be British United Kingdom, but you can click change and then choose what you want to use. So for instance, if I click change here, you can see I can choose any one of these. Click next, and then you're on the keyboard layout. Um, again, I'm using a UK keyboard layout, and I'm choosing the default option. And then we're into partitioning. Now, on my machine at this moment in time, I have Arch Linux. Uh, if you haven't got anything else, um, then you can just it will just say install a Nabara. But if in, most people will have something on their machine, whether it's Windows or Linux, uh, so um, It'll offer you the opportunity to install alongside and it'll shrink uh, the partition down to do that. You can replace the partition 
Uh, now this guide is for installing uh, Nabara as the only operating system on a machine. So for that purpose, uh, you would choose a raised disk and this will delete all data on the machine. And it asks you whether you want to swap with Hibernate or no swap, um, swap to file, etc. So I'm just gonna leave it as the default. And then I'm just gonna click next. Now you enter your username and give your PC a name, so I'm just going to leave it as default, and then enter a password. And then it gives you the option to log in automatically um, without asking for the password and use the same password for the administrator account. Right, so one, I don't want to log in automatically, I always want to log in, and if you untick this one, it'll ask you to put a different password for the root user. Uh, I'm going to leave this ticked. Um, and then I'm going to click next. And it gives you an overview of what's going to happen. And all you have to do now is click install. And now you just have to wait for this to complete. Uh, it could take about 20 minutes or so. Um, but uh, you can go away, come back, and by the time you've finished, it will be installed and we'll be on the next step. As you can see, uh, it's all finished. If you want to restart now, uh, you check this box here and then you click the done button. And then your computer will reboot and you'll be asked to remove your USB drive. So when you boot into Nabava for the first time, obviously you have to log in if you've chosen that option. But after logging it in, uh, you'll get this come up the first time you run. It says we've detected a new Nabava installation. Before moving on, it's required that you perform a system update. Would you like to do this now? So I'm gonna click yes. It says, due to uh, US patent laws, we are not able to include some important video playback and encoded packages. However, these are freely available to download and install with consent, uh, which we are asking for now. Uh, would you like to install the required playback and encoded packages? I would click accept. You can see it's now installing all the updates. It says flatback has been detected. Would you like to update all flat packs on your system. I'm going to let the other thing finish first before I click yes to that I think. You can see it now says codec installation complete. Uh, so yes, uh, flat packs have been detected, would you like to update all flat packs? Click yes. Uh, it says update is complete, it is recommended to reboot for changes to apply. Reboot now. So when you reboot, uh, you'll see the Nabava welcome screen. Uh, so we click on the first steps. Uh, so update your system, already done that. Install the media codecs, we've done that. If you need to install NVIDIA drivers, you can do that here. Uh, you can install more apps from the software center and you can install something called web apps. And then you've got recommended additions. So you can install Blender, Caden Live, OBS Studio and Discord. And then you've got optional steps, you can install AMD drivers, you can install um, X1 and XPad Neo drivers, which gives you um, support for Xbox One and Xbox Series controllers. Uh, you can install DaVinci Resolve fix-ups, uh, Proton um, for Steam. You can change the look and feel, so you can choose a login manager, get new themes, choose a layout, a theme with desktop. And you've got troubleshooting issues and things like that. I'm not going to do that as part of this video. Um, there's a review coming um, as probably the next video along in the series. Uh, so that's the end of it. Um, I've shown you how to create a Nabara USB drive and how to install Nabara to your machine and update the system. And that's the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.